So you're a brand new player, and you've just discovered Dungeons and Dragons. But who are you going to play with? I don't know, Monty. Let's find out. Hey, nerds. I'm Monty Martin. And I'm Kelly McLaughlin. And, and we, we are the Dungeon, Dungeon Dudes. Dudes. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to find the perfect group of people to play Dungeons and Dragons with. Yeah, maybe you're just getting back into Dungeons & Dragons after a long hiatus. Or perhaps you've been watching awesome D&D podcast shows and YouTube shows like Critical Role, Harmon Quest, or even Penny Arcade's Acquisition Incorporated. Or maybe you grew up playing video games like Skyrim, or The Witcher, or Neverwinter Never Winter Nights. Never Winter Nights, always a good one. Uh, so maybe you just want to bring that to the tabletop. However, finding people to play with can be really, really daunting at first. Fortunately, we've got a few great tips to help you get started. So let's get rolling. At its heart, Dungeons & Dragons is a social game. And I will say, and I think Kelly will agree with me, that it's best when you're, it's played with people who are your friends. It's true. Uh, we've had a lot of good times, and we've also made a lot of great friendships from playing D&D. &D. And that's really the first place to start when you're looking for people to play with. Talk to your friends, talk to your coworkers, even talk to your family members. You never know who might actually be interested in playing Dungeons and Dragons. Me and Monty um, used to work in the same place, and uh, our, through our conversations and mutual love of all things nerdy, we discovered that we both were into Dungeons and Dragons and wanted to play together. I myself had never played, but I'd always been interested, and Monty invited me to start a game with him. Yeah, it was really kind of serendipitous because as soon as we started talking about Dungeons & Dragons, a whole bunch of other co-workers got really excited about the game. And before we knew it, we had a full table and we're playing almost every week. And now we've actually split off. We have two other groups that came out of all those nerdy conversations at our workplace. Yeah. So you really shouldn't feel like you have to hold back who you are as a geek or a nerd. Um, the people that you talk to about your favorite books, your favorite movies, about video games... Just say to them, hey guys, do you want to play D&D? &D? And you'd be so surprised at how many people will say yes. Now there is another important key fact uh, that can really help out in finding a group. And that is choosing to become a DM. Exactly. This is the way our game grows. Um, and if you are having trouble getting a group started, uh, take the reins, take charge, and be the dungeon master. People will come out of the woodwork as soon as you announce that you want a DM. Um, and if you need help on running the game, learning how it's done, you've got our channel and all our videos to check, check out that'll give you lots of tips for getting started with uh, DMing. I've actually uh, been DMing for a little bit here, and it's because of playing with Monty as a player, and then we had more people continually asking, hey, can I get in on a game? And I decided, you know what? Why not make a game for them? So I started mm -hmm. running, my, running my own game as a DM, and we got a whole bunch of other people, and now we have two full tables as well as a third yeah. group that started as well. I would actually say it's more common nowadays when you start talking about D&D &D, to end up with too many people that want to play uh, than not enough. So I, I will say that if people are coming out of the woodwork, um, you want to probably cut off your group around four to six people. And if you have more than that, start a second game night. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> right? Um, so, but what if you don't have that many people to play with? Yeah, if you're a little shy or you've exhausted all of uh, all of the people in your life that you uh, that you could ask and nobody really seems that interested, there are a few other avenues that you can take to find people to play with. Um, if you're in a small town, you might try the internet, um, uh, particularly Roll20. Uh, it's a great website where you can connect and play with other players using a virtual tabletop. We'll have links to Roll20 and other things like it in the video description below, um, but Roll20 um, is great because it has an integrated find a game system as well as virtual die rolling and an entire virtual tabletop that you can play D&D &D with. In fact, some people actually integrate Roll20 into their live games because the virtual tabletop is so good. Yeah. Um, that said, it is the internet and you can end up mixing with people that you're less excited about. Which uh, leads us to the other avenue that we have, which is going to be in person. At, and that's the D&D Adventures League. Uh, many of your friendly local game stores actually have play space. If you've ever seen Magic the Gathering players having a tournament, 
there's a good chance that Adventures League is run at your local game store, and you should check that out. If you follow the links again in the video below, Wizards of the Coast has actually got a full list of all the places that you can play publicly for D&D Adventures League. Yeah, so um, check online, look at your local game stores, and talk to your friends, family, and co-workers. Yeah, really, it's the biggest thing. Uh, playing with your friends solves so many social issues that come with playing this game. Uh, and I really can't advocate for it enough. You don't need to be afraid about being a nerd today. Nerds rule the world. It's true. If you enjoy what we're doing and you want to support our channel, consider becoming a patron by following the links below. If you're getting started as a DM and want to check out our video for The Lost Minds of Fendelver, which is a great place to start, check that out over here. And if you are going to be making your first character, we've got a whole video about that right over here. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time in, in the, the dungeon. dungeon.